This Jacques Azaguirre dress that Princess Diana first wore back in 1985 broke the record in December at Julian's auctions, fetching 1.14 million Ooh. for dress, but Julian's <laughs> had more in store. That's right. Yesterday they held an auction which broke the bank, fetching 5.5 million dollars total, wow. featuring some of Diana's most iconic and photographed looks. Princess Diana continues to be a style icon. She really used her intuition. She was super deliberate and intentional on what she wore, where she wore the pieces. She was such a pioneer in fashion. She really was ahead of the trend with sustainability, which is so important for us now. And that makes her just the icon that she is. Gabriella Schwartz, head of fashion and talent relations at Julian's Auctions, says the collection features 50 of Diana's items, including accessories, personal notes, and of course, dresses. So this is our Moray Arbade Midnight Blue Tool. We like to call this the star gown. This is one of our pièce de resistances in the collection. It's obviously an exquisite evening gown, really showcasing her love of luxury and getting dressed up. This stunning gown is a quintessential Princess Diana look. She wore it not once, but three times. The first time to the 1986 London premiere of Phantom of the Opera, where she accessorized with pink opera length gloves. Next to dinner with King Constantine of Greece that same year, and again the following year to see Cinderella at the Royal Opera House. So a fun fact about this dress is that it was in fact ready to wear. Diana really liked going and supporting designers and purchasing items that they had already created. This Murray Arbade evening gown is definitely one of the most anticipated lots in the whole collections. And the dress lived up to its anticipation, selling for $780,000, almost four times the initial estimate. This hat is Philip Somerville, who was crowned by the royal family as the royal milliner. Wearing a matching hat to complete a look was a style staple for Princess Diana. And this hat from her visit to London's Victoria Station with Queen Elizabeth and then Prince Charles sold for over $101,000. That's over 10 times what was predicted. They were welcoming a state delegation from Nigeria and she happened to be wearing a beautiful, iconic signature Catherine Walker polka dot coat dress. This is a Katherine Walker floral shirt dress. Um, again, Katherine Walker being one of Diana's favorite designers. This floral shirt dress exemplifies Princess Diana's chic yet effortless style that fans still admire. And the winning bid was over 444,000. This one she was photographed in multiple times. She wore it in 1992, leaving Prince Harry School in Notting Hill. This is an early Katherine Walker when she was just really getting started with her ready to wear collection. Thank you.